Hi, it's Rick Massey. I'd like to thank everyone firstly for liking my new Rick Massey Fishing Facebook page. With my new page, apart from it being a page where it's going to be full of fishing reports, competition results, new products, each trip I go out and have a fish, I'll try to come back and do a quick talk on what happened and how I fished. In particular, hopefully to help beginners and uh, people starting out in the art of soft plastic fishing or hard body fishing, in particular for the estuarine species, brim, estuary perch, flathead, bass and so on. Now, yesterday I went to a water, I hadn't actually fished it for um, around two years and uh, it was a recon mission and it's a fishery that's not really renowned as a brim fishery but uh, I got plenty of brim there yesterday, nothing huge, best fish was probably about 35 centimetres although I did get one to the, the net that was over 40 and unfortunately it came off but that's fishing, that, these things happen. Um, and the river's not a long river, it's uh, only 10 to 15 metres wide in most parts but it's actually quite deep. Uh, sounding through it yesterday it was around four to five metres through most of the sections that I went. Uh, I found the fish yesterday on the shelving bank where it sort of shelved off from two to three metres and um, obviously at that depth I actually needed to fish a heavier jig head than I normally would um, just to get down to the depths to, to get to the fish. I started out fishing with a 1 16th ounce head and then uh, ended up moving to a 1 12th ounce and started picking the fish up that way. The lure that I was out using yesterday was a new Strike Pro lure that I've designed uh, called the Enticer Soft Plastics. And the, the one that I was using yesterday was this fantastic little grub. It's a little uh, two inch curl tail. Uh, that has the lightest, most finesse tail on the market. A little bit of ribbing through here, which adds vibration, but also if you're gonna add any scent to it, it'll uh, hold scent in it and uh, it'll keep it in there. The scent that I was using yesterday even though the um, Strike Pro enticers are infused with a scent, uh, I was just smearing a little bit of this fantastic sac scent bloodworm um, just on there as well, just to mask any human odours. And I was using the motor oil in the UV yesterday because we'd had a little bit of rain uh, about four or five days beforehand, and um, I thought it might have been a little bit dirty, but the water was quite clear, uh, but the little two inch grub in the UV was doing the damage. Um, as I explained, I was fishing that sort of two to three metre zone. One of the things for beginners in particular when you're doing this style of fishing is um, braid's um, essential, I think, when you're fishing soft plastics in particular um, because what that allows to do is it floats. So um, if you're getting takes on the drop or what, once it hits the bottom because the braid floats, basically you can see when it hits the bottom it'll actually stop uh, from sinking uh, where it goes through the surface and then you can actually see any takes on the drop. Sometimes you'll see that line go tink tink as they take it on the drop. But yesterday what I was doing was once it sinked down to the bottom, I could see it had got to the bottom when it went slack. You just give it two little hops like that just to get the plastic up and then let it sink back down. And a lot of the time, just as you went to do the hops, the fish were actually grabbing it then. Uh, but yeah, it was quite a successful method doing that. As I explained before too, I was using quite a large head for that I normally wouldn't use that weight, but I had to use that to get down. One of the things I always say to fishermen when they're starting out, particularly when you're using your plastics, etc., is try to fish as light a head as possible. Um, generally, I fish most of the time 1 16th, 1 20th, 1 24 ounce heads. Uh, but yesterday I had to get to a 1 12th to get it down. Uh, apart from the braid, you run a fluorocarbon leader. Um, a good starting point is around 5 pound. Um, I prefer to run a leader around 3 to 4 metres in length. Uh, the one I've got on at the moment is about four and a half, so I do fish quite a long leader. And um, with the fluorocarbon, as I explained, you, you can start with that um, around the five pound mark, but you'll find if conditions are quite clear uh, and the fish might be finesse biting or very fickle, you might be running down to, to the three pound. Uh, whereas if you're fishing up north, um, you could be fishing anywhere between 12 and 15 pound fish in oyster racks. Anyway, that just gives you a brief, brief rundown on uh, what I did yesterday. And uh, as I explained before, I'd like to thank everyone for liking my new Facebook page and um, hopefully this is the first of many reports to come. Talk soon.